So I'm out here next to the turtles again. Playing music. You know, music gives life. So we'll see if, you know, some turtles rise up while I'm out here chilling. Because I want to see some turtles get birth. <laughs> so arise. <laughs> arise, turtles. Arise. Like, I want to see some turtles hatch. Let's go. So I'm going to play some music while I'm here for a while. You know, relaxing and enjoying the view. So play some music there. Shake them bones up and get up. <laughs> I've been wanting to show you guys this this piece of art over here for the longest. I mean, let me finally show you guys. So this week, guys, you get to see some graffiti around the city that I like, that I want to show you guys. I'm going to start off with this one. It's right across from the hostel. This mug is dope. It's all get out, to me at least. It's like, how cool is that? <laughs> it's a face just painted. All right. <clears throat> So, there's some more. Over here, there's some more I'm gonna take you guys to later. But check this, it's about turtle, like a, you know, it's all Turtle Island. So peep this, I think this is awesome. Whoever drew this, that's freaking cool. Just because it's on the beach. <laughs> Water. Turtle Island, guys. Give me my babies. <laughs> Try to put the babies in cages. <laughs> but now they come, I don't know. They're supposed to hatch. We'll see. But you know, what if they just let them be where they're supposed to be? Hey, guys, when you go to the beach, make sure you pick up at least one piece of trash, too. You know, doesn't hurt. <laughs> this is the way I go to get some lunch because I'd be hungry. <laughs> it's okay to go down some of these, you know, alleys sometimes. We find wonderful experiences. I don't go all down all of them, do. Hola. Let's talk about this Squirtle look-alike. Squirtle, Squirtle. <laughs> you know, guys, when I see 20 hours on a sign like this, I honestly think this is going to last for 20 hours. Maybe because I would go to festivals. But it's not really 20 hours. It is 8 o'clock. Guys, like, why would I not do this? What a view. I get this every day. Like, why not, guys? What's up, guys? So, I'm here in this wonderful island, right? Uh, I found the lady who can sew, and I have a couple of things that need to be sewn, such as my bag. You can see somehow it's got ripped on the sides. I'll try to show you a different view, but so I'm gonna go take it to her, see if she can sew it. I'll give you a better before, and then some of my favorite shorts that need to be sewn too, so. See if she can do it for the low. So this is how it looks. It's, it's a little annoying just because, I mean, usually I can send it back to Osprey and they'll fix it for free or just give me a whole new bag. But since I'm not in the States, I gotta find a little, you know, solution to this until I can send it back whenever, you know? So by solution, find somebody who can fix it. <laughs> Guys, 24 to 
Guys, she's able to do it. She says she'd come back in an hour and it'll be done. Listen, you wouldn't believe how much it costs. 50 pesos, Masamenos, $5. And for the shorts too. And she might give me a string to go along the tie because those are my favorite shorts, but they just keep messing up. See how close it is to the, to the hostel? Hostel here. Place is right there in the market. Get to know you peeps. Get to know the locals, guys. Back again, guys. So helpful. So helpful. So if you guys are ever in Isla Mejeres, come over here to the shop. My she name hook is you. Marcy. My name, your name? My name is Marcy. Marcy? Making the dresses, bags, anything. She got anything you want, guys. Like, and she sews and fix up <laughs> stuff. So wonderful. Yes. <laughs> Which is gracias. Guess I can tell you how to get here. Walk out Salinas. Come here to the green wall, blue turquoise wall. Make an immediate left. And one, two, it is like right there. Like inside, probably 10 steps, 10, 15 steps. Also, <clears throat> just realized my calculation was wrong. It wasn't $5. I, I don't know what's wrong with me. 50 pesos is $2.50, something like that. So under $5, uh, realized. Whatever, you know, calculations. That's what I said, Mas Menos. Yeah. 20 pesos a dollar. Yeah, whatever, guys. Come on, you got it. Have you guys ever almost drowned before? <laughs> Has anybody ever almost drowned or drowned before? Yeah. I have. <laughs> Thanks to my aunt for saving my life. <laughs> Just like a little, uh, I almost drowned a couple of times. <laughs> Thank you, Elohim, for selling my life too. Cause like, I was in the Philippines. I thought I was gonna die. I was in the middle of the ocean with no life vest. I just came to a moment it's like, mm. well, God, <laughs> if this is it, thank you. <laughs> I was like, honestly, I was like, thank you for letting me live my dream in some type of, not even some type of form or fashion. I got to get out the states. And if this is how I die, I accept who you are and your son, Jesus. I wanted to search it out that lot more, but this is the point that I'm at in my life and I'm comfortable with it. And if I die, I die. <laughs> That's how life is for me <laughs> with all the things that I do. And it's like, you know, at the end of the day, if I die, I die. So, Gotta swim on through. <laughs> My beach therapy. Mm -hmm. Things I talk about to myself. So guys, it's the last night, or it's not the last night, but uh, it's karaoke night. And it's my last week here, so I'm gonna go for karaoke. I'm gonna do karaoke. <laughs> Oh, thank you so much. Hey guys, I don't think you understand like how happy I just got. I've been looking for something soft and chocolatey on this island for a long time. And I found it. They have a chocolate chip or a chocolate brownie. Oh, look at that. They also have chocolate chip muffin too. The joys of life. I'll let you guys know how this is because it's heaven. Guys, I just realized I haven't took y'all to the place I went to first to get some food. I got a taco stand here. So I gotta take you guys before I leave this island to this place. It's right here on the corner. They were the first place I went to. Like, oh, this place is cheap. And with good food. So here we are. Let's go. Look at this menu, bro. Yes. Let me get that burrito. Got the soap box. Yeah, yeah. Pull him. What the info, folks? What's up? So I'm back again for the last video of this series of uh, how to survive or how to live off of just a thousand dollars in another country. I so happen to be in Mexico in an island on the island called Isla Mujeres, which is a 
small, not small little island, right off the coast of Co uh, Coco, <laughs> Can Cancun. Uh, it's just like a 20 minute, 20, 25 minute uh, ferry ride from Cancun over nice, clear, blue, turquoise water. Some of the clearest water you ever see. So if you ever in Cancun, take a ferry to here and it's just one of those awesome things. I'm underneath the tree right now, of course, uh, right next to the beach. So hopefully I was able to show you that beach just real quick. But uh, so I'm gonna just give you guys today's follow-up uh, or this week's follow-up. But before I do that, I wanna plug myself because I am my best plug. Uh, just like you are your best plug, always plug yourself. So don't forget to like, subscribe, follow, uh, leave a comment below. Tell me, got, tell me guys, tell me what you guys want to hear, what you like, what you want to see, more of my travels. Uh, any suggestions, uh, comments, concerns, issues, or just encouragement, uh, take that. Um, so, also, some quick good news for you guys. Uh, I guess I do this before my, my thing. Um, I'm almost done with my website. I'm launching a new website. If you can tell, it's called jamesallenthecreator.com. Uh, it should be up by next week. Um, but by the time you guys, some of you might see this, it's already up. So always just check back every week, at least once a week, uh, for new new things on there. Either videos, merchandise. So hop at, go hop in my store, cop a couple of things. Um, but my old website is still up. I think I'm gonna keep that up just for the fun of it, but it's a nice cool one. That one is billboard for Yahushua dot life um the links will be below so don't forget to like i mean don't forget to click on those links below i have my old merchandise store my old store up over there um so check out some merch i have some new merch dropping today matter of fact uh i actually put some of it on my old website uh so i think you guys really really will like it like it's something new that a new direction i'm going with uh some of my artwork <clears throat> and so i wanted to show you guys uh so check out my website there's this one on there I like, it's called Natural Skittles or Natural Candies that I think you guys might like. So uh, don't forget to check out my merchandise store and uh, cop a few things. Help a brother out, you know. Thank you for doing this stuff to help me continue to live this life and share with you guys. Because without you, none of this would be possible. Uh, Alright, so real quick, the rundown for the week. Drum roll please. Black, here we go. Alright, so, oh man, no, I pressed the wrong button. This week. Uh, last week I left off with you guys telling you guys I had let me find it where'd it go no don't do me all right sweet sweet there it is last week I told you guys I had three hundred and eighty seven dollars and seventy eight cents left so from that week's total to today uh, July 24th I forgot what day that is today's Friday so I'm guessing that was probably Saturday or something I don't know whatever July 24th I spent eight dollars and fifty seven cents uh, July 25th, I spent uh, $8.47. Excuse me, July 26th, $12.76. July 27th, $8.52. Uh, July 28th, $13.56. And July 29th, $8.11. And as of today, for July 30th, I uh, only had breakfast so far. I'm not including my lunch and dinner, which I know I'm gonna have later on. Um, it is my last night in Isla, so I might have a drink or two. But as of, I had breakfast and it was only $3.78. So as of total left, uh, weekly total was only $59.99. As you can kind of see, it's pretty much $10 a day in a sense. I mean, I just pretty much went out to eat, gave some food, and then also I washed clothes this week. But so the total left was $327.79. But there was another thing I spent money on. It's called my phone bill. <laughs> so I do pay my bill, my phone bill every month. And that was a total of $36.14. Don't hate on family plans. Get them while you can. <laughs> my phone bill is only $36, which is a blessing compared to what it was. Uh, so which brought my total of left of being to $291.65. So, I just hope I showed you guys how you can also uh, live by faith and just live in another country. Um, actually, that was less than $1,000. Like, if I was to include all that, let me, what is it, 200 Good thing for calculators. Thank God Almighty, <laughs> you know, for calculators. Woo, because, man, 
the way you get older <laughs> you think about other things your math is still there but it's like oh man just to do it longer is like oh my oh my so if i was to uh really think about it is that 65 cents 65 yes i actually only spent <laughs> 708 dollars and 35 cents in less than a month in a month not less than a month in 30 days which is equivalent to a month for some months according to gregorian calendar uh so 30 days 700 and what's it 700 and oh man what just happened yeah about 708 dollars 710 dollars that's pretty impressive if i must say so myself for like a, a month worth of a living in another country that's pretty impressive for me at least like wow you can do it too believe it or not um and i eat three meals a day <laughs> All in another country because I don't know. Sometimes in the states, it's like, man. So I just want to encourage you guys uh, to get out there, go explore. If you want more information on how I did this, I also teach people how to travel on a budget, uh, live remotely as a digital nomad or as a remote worker. Uh, tips and tricks on how to do this. I have a four weeks, four to five weeks class where I teach you guys and uh, go over a budget, uh, how to budget. Um, and where to live some tricks and trade to the tricks and trades to the secrets of living abroad i've been doing this for like four and a half years now so holla at me so also i have other classes that i'm coming up with as i continue this so continue to check in on my website and just my videos all together um with that i hope you guys liked you know it was awesome just a couple of days ago when i was able to see a full moon on one side and the sun rise on the other such a beautiful thing like this island is really special because you can literally see the sunrise on one part of the not even one part a sunrise in front of you on in one part of the island and on the next not even like is that 15 degree angle you can see sunset <laughs> like that's i don't know where else you can see that like literally i can see the sunrise from here where i'm at right now in the morning and then if i turn a little bit that way I can see the sunset. It is pretty amazing the fact that you can see both in one day, literally so clear. Like the one time of the day, the two times of the day, you can really look at the sun eye to eye and not your eyes go damaged, ish. All within a span of 24 hours. Like it's, it's amazing. So if you guys ever want to take a trip with me, let me know. I do have uh, trips and offers where I do that too. Like I love that I do group trips. Yeah, if you just want to travel with a buddy, let me know too. I'm, I'm your buddy. <laughs> I'll be your friend. Uh, somebody can find it, right? So, uh, yeah, I hope this encourages you. I hope you guys get there, out there and live life and enjoy it to the fullest. We only got one side. We only got one life on this side of the earth to live. So why not live it to the fullest? Take that chance. Take that leap of faith. Uh, if you need somebody to talk to about that, let me know because I can help you with that. Like I take faith leaps every day just by doing this. Uh, so, yeah, more power to you guys, people. Yeah, enjoy, be blessed, uh, be encouraged, be empowered, and live on and prosper. <laughs> yeah.